saw the light go down on Baker Street. Don't know exactly where she wants to meet. The last cigarette broken fall. The rain's gonna be really soon. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video very exciting one because today we are decorating for autumn I have quite the collection you may see behind me a quick sneak peek I'll show you in a sec but quite the collection of autumn decor this year that I want to start popping out nice and early so I get the most of my gorgeous neutral autumn decor i am going with a neutral vibe this year and within this video but into october i might pop out a few little extra additions such as these which are right in front of me for halloween yeah so you may see a second round of decorating with me but more closer to like the halloween um but yeah today is very much the my style the neutral farmhouse rustic lots of different textures warm tones neutral tones it is hearts guys i'm in a dress i just couldn't fathom this is from zara i couldn't fathom getting into cozy autumn knitwear just for the purpose of this video i'm just already too hot and i haven't even started decorating yet this heat wave hopefully by the time you're watching this video we're having a rainy drizzly thunderstormy day to be fair we did have rain last night and I woke up this morning to very much overcast skies that was looking a little ominous, which I liked. For today's video, I am in a summer's dress. Summer, I'm ready now for you to leave. Thank you. Goodbye. I'll just show you these boxes actually that I've got first of all. Okay, I have got out every single awesome decoration I own. I think we can all agree one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes is probably at least three too many. <laughs> but I will justify it with a lot of them. Like, for instance, that box is pretty much, there's only two wreaths in there, a pumpkin decoration and some, some um, cookie cutters. So they there's not that much in each box. But, yeah, this has everything in it. It's got, like kitchen wear in um loads of like foliage in as well bags for like shopping bags reed diffusers candles literally everything once i've decorated today anything left over i'll have a good sort through that and decide if i'm going to donate any because i clearly don't need this much stuff but anyway i'm not going to ramble on too much longer i'm going to get on with the decorating i'm going to start I think with the front door, I tell a lie, we're not gonna start with the autumn decorating just yet. I received the cutest little package from Pet Hamper. I unboxed it over on Barney's Instagram if you wanna see his reaction to getting this little surprise delivery. But they, I, I love the guys at Pet Hamper. Emily, she's a gorgeous girl that um, has gifted me bits from Pet Hamper in the past. I've bought things in the past from them. I'm just, I love the brand. It's basically a website for pet owners or people that are wanting to gift pets, pet owners, and you can kind of like do a bit of a DIY hamper. All of these items are individually on sale on their website, but you can put them together into a hamper as a great gift idea. So she sent me over some of their new autumn bits and she did also give me a discount code. Let me just read it out to you. Uh, it is Freya Autumn 15. That is valid until 31st of October where you can get 15% off. And she said it includes our modern pup collection, which is usually excluded from all codes. So thank you so much to Emily. So from her new autumn range, she's got these gorgeous little cute pumpkins. How adorable is that? I'm obsessed. It reminds me of like the jelly cats obviously it's a I won't squeak it in case there's any dog watchers um but yeah there's a squeaker in it and also she got me this or got Barney this so let's face it but um I just love it he's definitely going to be wearing this during the Halloween season in a large which fits him perfectly I've tried it on him already again on his Instagram if you want to see it we've also got some seasonal treats these from Denzel's the toffee apple soft sticks he's already had one of these and he chomped down on that pretty quickly 
And then also in here, I saw this on her website. I was going to buy it actually, but she very kindly sent it over. It's from the brand St. Argo and it's a little silicone treat dispenser, which is genius because you can just, there's a little carabiner clip there that you can just clip it to the lead or your walking belt, whatever. And inside you can just pop some treats. So nice and hygienic, really easy to clean with it being silicone. Um, but it's also just really handy to have them there with ease of access to just treat your dog. And then last but not least, she loves an aesthetically pleasing pet item on her website, which is music to my ears. This from Wild One, a poop bag carrier. It's in like a brown, chocolate brown, perfect for autumn. Little poop bag dispenser. Oh, the glamour, but I love that. So yeah, thank you so much to Pet Hamper for sending me that, I thought I would just mention it for any other pet owners. So yeah, let's now get on with the autumn decorating. I love to do when decorating or cleaning is to pop on something on YouTube, whether it be music or music through the speakers. This time I'm picking a nice cozy background on YouTube that you can just literally search and find. There's like fireplaces and all sorts. Anyway, I'm also going to get going with my diffuser. This is the electronic one and I'm using the scent Amber, which is new to the White Company. Really nice and warm and super, super cozy. Darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night Cause I promise you really going to be doing much in terms of decoration for the downstairs loo. I have just got this gorgeous reed diffuser which I've just switched the reeds over and a nice waffle green um, hand towel as well to pop over the rail but that's about it for in there. Then I'm going to get out my stack of cushions and start placing these around the house. this plug in and scent pumpkin spice latte but I'm not gonna lie guys it's quite sickly and sweet it is okay it's not my favorite I'm not 100% sure if I'll repurchase I think I actually bought it last year and I just forgot that it's probably a bit too intense for me This reed diffuser in the scent Pumpkin Cinnamon, I did actually pick up last year from Home Sense, but I have seen this year that they've done more of them. So definitely one you could probably um, be in with a good chance of finding in Home Sense this year if you did like the look of it. Okay, 
just pit stop for a little lunch break. I am gonna give you like a full house tour once I've finished faffing, basically. But um, I thought before I crack on with some more organizing and putting out some decorations for autumn, I just received this in the mail, like literally just now. So thought I would open it up, especially considering on the front it says, all and more. It's a small business actually that I follow on Instagram. It looks like they've sent me some gifts, which couldn't have been timed better. Oh, they've also given me a discount code. Freya10 if you want 10% off your order. Oh my God, there's a lot in here. No. Oh. You are the sweetest. Thank you so much, Katie and Charlotte at Fallen More. Oh, she's so cute. This is just the sweetest. She's put on top some treats for Barney and it says, just in case Barney thinks this parcel is for me. He's actually at daycare today. I put him in there um, for the day just so I could crack on with decorating and him not kind of be in the way. And I'm, I've taken the opportunity to wash all of his bedding, all of his toys and everything. Oh, and look, she's included some chocolate for me as well. Oh my God, you've absolutely spoiled me. This is literally like Christmas for autumn. Oh, this feels like, yes, a sign. And this is so cute. Oh my God, this literally couldn't have been timed better. How gorgeous is this sign? Farm fresh pumpkins, pick your own. I feel like I could pop that in my utility. This is so adorable. I think they do different sizes as well, but look how sweet this little pumpkin is. It's a ceramic one, but it's not like perfectly pristine and white, which I quite like. I like the fact that it's got the texture and different color on it. Love that. I'm like sad to open everything because it's so beautifully wrapped. And then this one to go alongside it, might even start adding a little bit of decoration to the black bookcase. So I might pop these in there. <gasps> Look, how sweet are they? They are so cute. Okay, so I was just thinking, because I switched out the doormat in, in the front of the door, I was thinking I could do with one for the back door for the utility room. And I was thinking, do I really need to justify getting a second seasonal one or do I just put a box standard one there? Well, now I know that I'm putting the seasonal one there. I might even switch out this one for the one on the front door because I prefer this one because it's not got like any orange on it. It's just very simply, hello pumpkin. How cute is that? So I'm gonna put that one front door instead and then I'm gonna pop the other one by the back door when I see the back door like the utility door that we always use to go into the utility down in the basement like after a dog walk especially if you've got mucky for I need to give him a wash in the dog wash but yeah how cute is that right I'm gonna go switch that over now and maybe have a little snack on the old chocolate I have actually got some chocolate um, let me go grab it I picked up some of these lint chocolate in the blood orange because of the orange packaging to go in my little glass i say little it's actually quite big so i bought three and i hope that'll be enough but we'll pop those in now carry on doing a bit more decorating and then i'll give you a bit of a final kind of like autumn house tour of where we are at and what the house is looking like today is just a day made for me the only thing that would make it better is it being cooler so I could be in some cozy knitwear, but also cooler so that I could enjoy a PSL, which I have already had a pumpkin spice latte this season. Have you guys? They've got like different versions, haven't they? Like cold brew versions or different flavors. I might do like maybe my next vlog, maybe like in my next video, I could do a bit of a Starbucks auto menu taste test. It's like any excuse to just go out and buy the Starbucks menu and say, well, I was doing it for the vlog, you know? But anyway, right, let's crack on with the rest of the decorating. Okay, I could have definitely bought a lot more, a lot more. And also they're quite ready, those ones. I might go and get some of the normal orange ones and mix them up with, though, with the uh, blood orange ones. But yeah, that's looking a little empty. I 
I really wanted to get my hands on some new seasonal hand soap. I love the sea salt. It's probably one of my favorite scents, but I am gonna switch it out for a more cozy one. This time in at Bergamot and Cedar, their new scent from the White Company. I was hoping they did autumn, but apparently they don't do autumn the scent in the hand soaps, which was disappointing because I really wanted to get the autumn one, but never mind. The last cigarette broken fall. Candles are an absolute staple for me at this time of the year. I was going to put the time one here, but I've decided to switch it out for a slightly bigger one. And I put the time pumpkin one back up on the kitchen shelf, which you will see at the end of this video. But yeah, cozy season candles are an absolute must. Let me know which are some of your favorite candles to burn at this time of the year. There she was, there she was. Okay, I am about ready to give you a house tour, autumn house tour for 2023. Still a work in progress, there's still some things that I'm yet to come across that I think I might pop out, maybe within vlogs, especially like kitchen stuff, baking things and crockery. So that's the sort of thing that I'll do within my vlogs and I will continue to faff, continue to have like a bit of a change around with certain things. So yeah, for any updates, just keep um, up to date with Vlogs. Pretty simple front door. We just got our brand new doormat. And then this is the wreath that I've gone for for now. I'll probably switch out for Halloween, but for now I've just got this wreath on which I got from HomeSense. If I miss anything out as I'm talking you through everything and you want to know where something is that I've not mentioned, just pop it in the comments below and I will let you know. So as for this front room, obviously we've not really got any uh, furniture in yet. I'm hoping that once we've got these boxes down, back down in the basement, I'm gonna measure up and find a sofa in time for Christmas so we can have all of this decorated for Christmas as well. I've just kind of popped a bit of decor on my piano. So we've got our next pumpkin candle. This smells delicious. Brass candlesticks, which will probably go on the fireplace in future, but for now I've just popped them on the piano. They were thrifted, and then I've switched out, this vase is from Dunelm, I've switched these leaves out. I think these were, these were Matalan. And then I've popped my little Matalan uh, candle holder in there. It does need a candle in there, but it kind of matches the wreath, which I've just popped on this door in here, with the wreath hook, which is from the range. I won't go into too much depth with these shelves, but I basically just started to have a play around with popping some bits on and obviously you'll be able to see a couple of seasonal touches. All leaves, candle, pumpkin, these are all like old decor. This one was Primark this year, love that. And then a little DIY that I did last year or was it the year before, I can't remember. And then over here we've got a little autumn candle as well. Oh, and we've got a glass pumpkin up there next to those games. But yeah, that's how the bookshelf is currently looking. There's a couple of empty photo frames and needs a good 
zhuzh around some more books adding to it and things like that but for now that is how it is looking so if we go into the main kind of kitchen extension area so let's start with the pantry not much has changed since my last vlog but i did just add this book which i feel has nice autumnal cover to it and then i opened this book which is from the oven to the table book and i just found a really cozy image to open it up onto i'll leave this linked below because i love that cooking book stand then the kitchen shelf area We've just added a little spoon rest from Tesco's. This is from the range. This is, I can't remember where that's from. I popped my little thyme pumpkin candle up there. Switched out my bergamot to the apple cider one and added a couple of pumpkin bowls. This um, artwork, I've popped the mushroom print there instead of the line drawing that we had before. I also switched out the um, hand soap from the White Company and hand cream for their new scent, bergamot and cedar, which I have an oil for, which I have been burning as well, and it smells amazing. Nice for this time of the year when you still get some warm September days because it's quite citrusy and refreshing as well. I always have just a handy tea towel here just for like drying pots and things and I've added this seasonal one from Zara Home here. And then on the oven I've added the Matalan oven mitt. I can't find the tea towel, the matching tea towel that I bought so it might be one in the kitchen cupboard somewhere rather than the storage box. So I'll have a look for that but for now I also added next to it which I actually really like. This one is from TK Maxx, Home Sense this year. Then as for the center piece I've just added this foliage which I got last year I can't remember where that's from you have to probably go back and watch the old videos but I'm thinking it was from Donnell then I've added some wooden pumpkins which I've had for a couple of years they're like I think they were from an American haul that I did from Target, but they're gorgeous. And I thought I'd just keep that dough bowl nice and simple. We're just adding some wooden pumpkins in. I've kept the linen runner along this table as well. And then Barney's bed has had a little makeover as well. I've just added the Asda toadstool throw and also the leaf cushion that I got from home sense as for the sofa i've just kept things nice and simple with adding this uh pumpkin pillow in the middle from again home sense we've added our new little ceramic pumpkins there i've also added a wooden one on the shelf above and then on this side of the shelves i've just added this large pumpkin again which i got last year popped on a autumn scene which i always love doing these in um like my seasonal decorate with me videos or if you're just pottering around the house and you just want something on the tv just head to youtube and find like a aesthetically pleasing I'll, I'll show you let me unmute it so you can hear what it sounds like it sounds like the rain the fire crackling just ultimate cozy vibes a bit of thunder and lightning in there as well in here I've had my oil burning. I've actually started using the new amber scent, but I might actually go back to the bergamot one. Now that I've got the new bergamot hand soap and cream, I think I might continue using the bergamot one for a while, but then as we get into the colder weather, I'll definitely switch back to amber because it smells so warm and lovely. I've just turned it off again so you can hear me. Then as for our um, like sideboard, I've just switched out the key bowl, which was actually there, but I've moved it over to the middle because of the size of this one. And I've just used this next pumpkin that I got. And then I've popped this. This again is one of my favorite pieces of seasonal decor at this time of the year. And it's from Anthropology. Um, I don't know if they still have it, but it's a little candle snuffer in gold. And it's like a little pumpkin with a leaf on the end. I love that, so I just put that on that book there. Then I've got, again, from Next, the Hello Pumpkin coasters. They brought them out this year, but in a different wooden color. They are from last year. And then I've got this candle on the go, which is so divine. I love the aesthetic of this. It's just beautiful with a little brass knocker on top so yeah that one is in the scent autumn leaves and then let's head down into the basement i'll show you the couple of touches i've added to the utility room i have added the hello pumpkin doormat a pumpkin hand towel and my little soap dispenser and pot next to it on um the sink they were from asda last year and then my new sign i've popped on the top shelf with a little ceramic pumpkin next to it Used to be on that top shelf, these two jars, which I've just moved them down so you can see them a bit better. Again, I love the kind of rustic touch to those wooden pegs. Just a couple of touches of autumn in here. Then in the main bathroom, on the back of the door, we've just got this uh, towel, which is from Matalan. It's kind of a reversible one, whereby you could have more cream or more orange on show, and I kind of like the orange, so I've kind of done like 
half and half. The only other seasonal touch I've got in here is just this reed diffuser, which I got from HomeSense. And then as you come up the stairs, I always love having a plug-in air freshener here, just because I feel like as you're coming up, you can really smell it. So we've got a new pumpkin spice latte one on the go there. Then into my filming room, what will be a wardrobe room in future. And hopefully from here, full run to the other wall will be built-in wardrobes and we're just going to have like the middle section where the alcove is for shoes and bag storage uh, but that's hopefully sometime soon for now i've just switched out the what was the eucalyptus stems in here for these beautiful cream maple leaf um stems from the range they've got them in like a burnt orange color as well and then over on the windowsill we just have a trio of the white company fireside scent which i'm not going to lie are from last year because they don't have fireside scent out just yet um have i added any touches anywhere else i think that's it for now i did just slightly switch out our bedroom i don't want too much like autumn throughout the whole house so we've already got really nice warm tones in here which i'm loving we recently switched out the bedside tables which you may have seen an instagram reel they are from tilly and ted homeware i absolutely love them so much so that i'm very much considering switching out the drawers here to the matching ones because I just love the warmth that that wooden kind of texture and tone brings to the room. But anyway, I've um, added some cozy throws and cushions to the bed. That pumpkin one is from Home Sense. And then last but not least, Barney's bed because he does sleep in our bedroom with us. He just has a nice cozy throw on there with his little teddy bear which has just gone through the wash so it's nice and fresh and a little Matalan cushion on there. That was kind of expensive, that cushion, and I kind of regretted buying it after then finding this one and the one on the sofa. But now that I've got those on the sofas, I do quite like to have a little pillow in Barney's bed. So yeah, it actually works out really, really well. So I'm happy I got it in the end. I would say. I'm going to try my pumpkin spice hotel chocolate hot chocolate. Mmm. Really good. Mmm. I'm in my fields right now. I'm in my I actually want to get into cozy clothes this evening. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Barney from daycare and just have a nice chilled evening. I think I'm going to carry on watching some more of The Summer I Turn Pretty. I'm not far off finishing it, to be completely honest with you. And it's one of those series that I've really enjoyed and I don't want it to end. You know, when you're just coming towards the end, you think, you have, I know I've only got a few episodes left. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to watch a couple of episodes of that tonight. That's going to go ahead and conclude my autumn decorate with me 2023. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and found some inspiration into injecting just a little touch of autumn into your home, especially if you have a neutral kind of style like I do. Again, if you want more decorate with me content or more new in autumn bits, and you're not already, I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe. It is my favorite time of the year. I just, I feel like I thrive when it's autumn or winter. I love it. So yeah, all the exciting content still to come. Lots of nice cozy autumn vlogs, some autumn baking. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next one.
Bye guys.